Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. We're tracking not just the heat, but the lack of rain. Very dry brush and dry conditions. And we do see some changes down the road as far as increased chances for wet weather. Now, one of the byproducts of heat and humidity like today are thunderstorms. However, there are conditions in the atmosphere today that really limiting that and really weren't expecting any thunder for today and certainly not seeing anything locally on live pinpoint Alpha 12 radar, nothing on the horizon, at least not yet. But the, down the road, the chances start to increase. Now, by definition, a heat wave, you need three or more consecutive days of 90 or higher. Yesterday, 90, 97 today close tomorrow. We're not forecasting as hot. That's not to say tomorrow's cool, but it will be in the upper 80s to near 90. So a close call whether or not we make official uh, heat wave criteria. So one more very warm to hot day, not as hot today, but still very warm. The cool down coming uh, by the end of the work week and some much needed showers. In fact, this may be some widespread, not, you know, not scattered here and there, but a very widespread beneficial rain. And the timetable is Thursday into Friday. We'll talk about that in more detail on our seven day future cast. Live pictures from uh, well, the Fox Point uh, Hurricane Barrier in Providence with hazy sunshine right now. After 97 degrees, we slip back down to 89. So the first part of the night, it stays in the 80s and then later at night dropping back through the 70s. Smithfield now at 89 degrees and Seekonk checking in with uh, 83. You can see temperatures along the coastline a little cooler. Of course, no surprise with the sea breeze. Look at Boston. It was 95 several hours ago down to 79. So a classic example of the wind. The sea breeze now coming in off the water. Here's the wider view. Now showers and cooler air well to our north. It'll take until uh, Thursday and especially Friday for that to work through. The combination of some cooler air to the north developing storm system offshore brings some beneficial rain by the end of the work week. Let me walk you through it on future casts of this evening. Warm and humid by 11 o'clock is still close to 80. Watch for some fog very late tonight, early tomorrow morning. That will burn off to hazy sun. By 11 a.m. it's already 85. Upper 80s to near 90 by tomorrow afternoon along with the high humidity and some hazy sunshine. Bay forecast once the fog burns off at dawn four to seven miles in haze and the south breeze turning southwest at 10 to 15. Beaches have fog at dawn, but rapidly improving conditions with hazy sunshine. Air temperature at 80. Water temp is still warm at 73. Seven day future cast. One more hot day. Look at the changes. Big changes for both Thursday and Friday. 84 with widespread rain likely. This will be a factor for the Patriots game on Thursday evening and Thursday night. Sharply cooler, much, much cooler weather on Friday. We'll have some showers lingering at least into the morning hours. And then that sets up for a cool weekend. Dry on Saturday, the chance for showers on Sunday. No 80s or 90s, but rather daytime highs that are in the mid-70s. Also, the poor air quality alert continues through uh, 11 o'clock this evening. DEM has not issued any kind of a poor air quality for tomorrow. You can download the Channel 12 weather app on your smartphones and on your tablet as well. Hottest day of the summer season. You know it's bad when that alert goes all the way to 11 o'clock too. Yeah, the air is still very, very stagnant. A little better for tomorrow, but still a hot, humid day. All right, Tony, thank you. And